on the, the ridge into the morning sun, as you can see. It's perfect, beautiful granite. No petroglyphs. And it's 8 o'clock, which is 6.30 WA time. Just looking back down the Sandy Blight Junction Road we came up last night. The Shrewm Mule Crescent we've come up through. And it's the Peterman Ranges. Just climbing up a, a bold stream of granite. Just got to imagine the age of these rocks just cracked and rolling down. And the camps around there. A lot of butcher birds calling. There's a pool in there we might check out and some cold water once the sun gets up. We've still got a few more minutes in bed. Craig, I think he's name. Oh, that might be him there in his chair. Had a nice little chat around the fire last night over there. He's mentioned in the offbeat Australia book. Better go down before the Sun gets up. And he just waved. Some local traffic out on the road there. This went past. There's his dust. There he goes. What a deep, deep track that's sheltered in between the grading windrows on each side. 
It's lovely and sandy. There's a few corrugations. Oh, it's half past 12 and the friends we met here have headed off. And so we'll go up to have a look at the, the rock hole that we can swim in. Dimples. There's another plaque. Goosebumps. There's a plaque there. There it is. There's a lovely, lovely rock hole up there. A nice swimming hole up there. 998. Bob Collard was the guy. There were two Led. possibilities in 68. That's where you climb over, up there, climb up this crack a bit, fingertips and fingernails and you can get up and swim across there. down that tree. It's cold. Mm. I it's cold. There's a line, knotted clothesline wire. hitting a camel, well two actually, ran across just in front of me. This is a turn off into Kurla, local community, and they 
Some of them just whiz by just after the camel incident. Mm -hmm. We yeah, go right up. There. Oh, look at the road yeah, going. This is where the track the, starts. The better road goes into the community. Of course. Yeah, there's a, a good road. That's a good road into the community there. And here's the Priscilla Queen of the Desert's shoe. There you go. Our road here is now a track. Allegations now and again are a bit crook, but mainly when it gets rocky, you can just keep on the edge of that a lot of the time. And all the spin effects is sprouted. And up to the dunes. marked it with a waypoint on the 765. They're starting to look for a spot to camp. Just wondering about when to get a nice shot of our Donga camp spot. And the busted came in. There he is. Yeah, he's running away. And the busted came into the camp. Slowly walked in. Once they stand still, you can't see them anymore. I finally got some soul again. Well, it's ten past nine, central time, Adelaide time. This is a flat dong that all the grass is either marching out into the spinifex or the spinifex is moving in. I had to get a new battery and miss the, the turkey, silly turkey took off and flew across, all the way across the crab holes over into the sun there somewhere. There are a lot of crab holes just down there. I drove into them last night and they got a bit soft. 
we ran across crab holes in 1968 in the combi. This is another story. And all the excitement flushed Vanita out of the tent, out of the van, but she missed the, the turkey. Had a frost on the roof this morning, iced up, and we we're quite wet inside from the condensation. And here's one of the lovely casuarinas, one of the young ones growing up. Makes for a lovely drive. Let's go and see what's over the sand dune. We headed off about 11 o'clock. Well, it's Adelaide time. It's 11.30. This is where you have the, the great feeling of remoteness. In the outback, and climb to the top of a dune, and you can see more dunes. They're all covered in prickly spinifex. We're in a saddle climbing up. The end of one dune meets the other dune.